Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at moving forward on the 3D modeled spaceship. We'll add some glowing engines and we're going to texture this. Okay, so let's get started. First, uh, if I want to texture this, I, f I start with, um, I texture the whole thing first and then I target specific faces where I might want a different texture. So right now I know that I have a picture I'm going to put on this. I'm going to assign new material. So holding down right click, assign new material. I'm going to go to Arnold Standard Surface and just be careful, be sure you scrolled all the way up here on the standard surface. The base color, I'm going to choose this little checker box. And when I click on this, it makes this right here. So the list here, it says File. I'm going to click on File. And then there's a folder that appears on the right here. If you're not seeing it, sometimes this shows up. You can click on the File tab to see the folder. I'm going to click on this folder, and I'm going to choose my picture. So I have this right here, and I'm going to open. Now, you're not going to see it at first, but you can press 6 on your keyboard to be able to see the texture. And as you can see, we uh, this is not fitting correctly. So, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select this, and we're going to try to UV map this. So, if I go over to making sure you're selected on it in object mode, I'm going to come up to UV, planar, and then the option box. And you have you can project the image from any of these axes. So I want to start with the Y axis. And so if I'm looking up and down at it, you can see whatever is there, this is my little trick, whatever's in the center of the gizmo here is the axis you're looking down. So if I was orbiting it straight like this, I can look over here and I can see that I'm looking down the Z axis. If I was looking at it sideways here, I'm looking down the X axis. Okay, it's just a little trick to look at the gizmo down here. So I want to first map this on the Y axis and I'm going to press apply. Uh, I like to do this, keep hiding with the ratio and project. Alright, so when you project something, you get this bounding box. If this, if you click off of it, it'll go away, but I can undo to bring it back. We have a blue box here, a blue box here, a blue box in this corner, and this one looks like a little red icon here. If I click on that, that's to rotate the texture, okay, which I'm not going to need. To get back to the, because that when you click on this, the uh, the blue boxes disappear. But if you click it again, they reappear. So the blue boxes are for scaling. So they are for the light blue ones are for proportional scaling. You can kind of see how I'm scaling down the texture. The red one will squish the texture. The green one will squish it. So I'm going to just scale proportionally here and something about like this. Now you can see all these faces look really good. The texture looks good on the y-axis, but any faces that are facing on the z or the x uh, are not fitting as well. Underneath looks fine because that is also on the y-axis. Alright, so I'm good with that. I'm going to go back to object mode and take a look. Now again, this one is eventually going to be in smooth mesh preview, so I'm going to definitely smooth the ship and you can kind of see how that fits nicely. And notice that it does pretty well when you round it out with the edged ones. But if you weren't going to smooth it, you would definitely want to fix this. And to do that, we would go to face mode. And I would select any face that faces that direction. So one quick way to do this, because you could try this, you could go to the side view here, and I can drag a box. It might not work well, but... Uh, you can try to drag a box through those faces and you can actually see I actually did a pretty good job. I got all of the side faces. Now I don't want uh, I guess I could have those. That's fine. Okay, so I got all the edges on the side here and I'm gonna map these on the x-axis. So let's go to UV planar options X axis and project. And I'll scale them down about the same size. Somewhere around here. Okay. Now just there's looks like there's just one face here. 
that I want to fix up here that looks like that. And this one doesn't matter. I could fix this one if I wanted to. So any faces that are facing the z-axis, like this one here, I'm going to um, go back to UV planar, the z-axis, and project. And I'll scale that down about the same size as what the other ones look like. Good. All right. So now when I press 3, you notice it looks a little bit better. It kind of fits a little better. All right. So now that that's mapped, I want to do something with the windows. <clears throat> so I want these to be a different texture. Well, you can go to face mode, and I'm going to just select my windows here. Holding shift, I can select multiple sh uh, faces. Hold down right click, assign new material, and since I'm in face mode, it's only going to assign them to that. I'm going to go to back to a standard surface, but I'm just going to make it black. So I'm just going to kind of make these tinted windows like this, and I'll press 3 just to see what that looks like in smooth mesh preview. And you can see in smooth mesh, uh, I kind of want to also choose these faces as well. So I can do that. In smooth mesh, I'm going to go to face mode. And I can also, I can hold shift and click on these faces that it missed. And I will assign new or assign existing. I can go to assign existing material since I already made. And you can see one, two, three. It looks like this is the black one I just made there. All right. So now you can see what I have. Now I'm going to stop this tutorial here. And then the next tutorial, I will show you how to add an emitting engine light. Okay. So this is how to texture your ship. Good luck and give it a try.